Hi, I'm Pranjal and today I'm making a CKP style drumstick curry called Shingavi. Uh, CKPs are a subcaste of Maharashtra and uh, whenever people hear that I'm a CKP, their eyes brighten up thinking of all our non veg food. But trust me, our vegetarian food is equally yummy. So for this curry, we'll need three drumsticks, one cup thick coconut milk, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon red chilli powder, 1 teaspoon coriander cumin powder, 2 teaspoons jaggery, 1 tablespoon oil, half teaspoon mustard seeds, a pinch of hing, 1 teaspoon chickpea flour, 2 teaspoons tamarind pulp and salt to taste. So for this curry we need 3 drumsticks that I have chopped into 3 inch pieces and we are going to boil them in water with a little haldi and uh, salt, just a little bit of haldi. And we boil them until they are cooked. You could choose to also pressure cooker this, uh, these drumsticks but I prefer to cook them on an open flame. So let's check if the drumsticks are cooked. There, perfectly cooked. So once the drumsticks are cooked, we need to drain the drumsticks and retain the water. Next, heat your pan, add oil, let it warm a little bit, add your mustard seeds. Once it starts crackling, add your curry leaves, add your bean. And then add your drumsticks. Add your haldi, your chili powder. I normally use a combination of baby and Kashmiri uh, chili powder. Your coriander and cumin powder. And just sort of toss it well so that the whole drumsticks coat get you know sort of coat uh, with the masala just stir it well so that all the masala coats the drumsticks give it a minute in the meanwhile we have this uh, the water that we drain from the from cooking the drumsticks add the, the chickpea uh, flour to it and just mix it well Make sure that there are no lumps. Add it to the drumsticks. Let it boil a little bit. Now that the drumstick curry is boiling, just lower your gas and add your coconut milk. Add the tamarind pulp and your jaggery. Okay. Stir it well. Okay. Increase the gas again to a medium flame. Check for salt. Needs a little bit of salt. Give it one quick boil again. Can you see the lovely consistency? It's got a very creamy effect. That's it. The drumsticks have, uh, you know, have come to a nice boil. Just shut the gas. Garnish it with a with a lots of coriander leaves. And done. Simple. 
So drumsticks are a great way to uh, include uh, this vegetable into your diet. It's beneficial for immunity boosting and it's also great for digestion too. I've learned all my CKP cooking from my mother-in-law. She used to make this recipe practically every week because my father-in-law loves it. I hope you try the recipe and do let us know your feedback.